Hey survivors, welcome to our upgraded base. We have done a little bit of work on here and we have now upgraded our main base, at least the main base building, to Blackstone. I'm not entirely sure how I like the look of the Blackstone because it is definitely something different compared to the normal stone and even the wooden building. It has a very like cold sci-fi look to it. But as you can see, we have upgraded everything to Blackstone now. It has twice the HP, which is really nice for raids, especially considering we are already collecting fever again on our two squares here but that took me like probably like six hours to craft and upgrade everything but i'm kind of happy we also have in base now one spot which is basically just one chair here that has comfort level seven the reason why it's just this chair is because we could finally make statues and i put two statues up here because i didn't have any space below i need to find a better place for them they can't stay there but uh, those two statues causing this place here this one chair to be comfort level seven i've blocked it so npcs can't use it if i ever need the buff i can get it this way other than that we also have finally set up the age of electricity or rather like rotation power and we have built a little bit of a fabrication building where we have all of the production structures combined that need these rotational power and since today we also have the distiller and we finally have the power workshop so we can now also start making the more expensive and more advanced things. Other than that, today we also placed down those cooling it's, it's kind of riches, right? I think they're called cool cellar or cooling cellar. But we have one for meat and we also have one for our buff foods that we don't want to have spoiled. Then I also put down the frog statue here in the water. I felt like it fit best in here. But this was everything that we updated, upgraded for our base here. It has been quite some work to get everything basically to this level. We also upgraded the standing oil lamps because 300 of the oil make it last 600 hours without refilling by having to refill and i feel like they're also a little bit brighter i think so so i have changed these here and two big things happened today uh, since we were as you can see here we were exploring in the snow also finally having access to meteorites to farm could make a ton of steel and we leveled our two main crafters one of our main crafter is cupid that's our armor crafter and he now finally hit 120 and our second one is the weapon fairy and she also hit the 120 and is already at 121. So now we have steel proof crafters that can give us steel armor and steel weapons in a high quality. We're not at the point where everything is legendary, as you can see, but we get a bit of legendary. I'm okay if we have a legendary or a set of like red and yellow armor, maybe even purple. That's good enough for me. We also got snow lepers today. So that was exciting. I died a lot of times in the snow because it was basically we went into the snow we discovered a little bit unlocked the portal and then we just went back to get the kitty cats because our mounds that we have they were not good for the snow area they would slow down all the time despite having chill mods on their saddles so a kitty cat it had to be and we got four one of them bugged out in a super low level uh, yes this one is just a level eight so you can have stuff bugging out and then suddenly they are low level but i mean it's still it's still fine compared to the normal jaguars or lepers it's it's just fine because it still has 3k life so it's not too terrible but this was our adventure today so we went hunting some elite elephants for their resources so we can make more steel armor we did explore the snow to get the meteorite from which we have like a ton now and then we upgraded the base to get our comfort level up it was a lot of work I think today the session was like 10 hours, but I'm kind of happy that we came this far and we managed to now finally, what I think, uh, if I look into the progression place, I think we can officially now say we are in endgame. The next boss we have to do is the mammoth boss, and then we can probably already start the third Sabertooth boss. I checked it was 55, I'm 54, so we can actually go and kill the third one soonish. I'm a bit scared about it though, but yeah that was it thanks for watching and i'll keep you updated stay alive and thrive